everybody, maybe 454 here, your friendly Let's Player, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. So in the last part, we kicked some more Shinner Guard's butts. We decided to go down half the building, just to come back up after getting Elixir. Went up to 60 floors, snuck by some guards, played the Mayor Domino's game, just to find out the password was KING! And now, here we are in the rec room. So yeah, on this floor there's a couple of things you can do. Firstly, you can probably tell that these are vending machines. Take one to restore your energy. Shinner Gym Special Drink. Only 250 gil. Try it out. Uh, nothing. What? Is it broken? Give me my drink, dang it! Sir, what are you doing? No violence here, please! But I want my drink. That's not fair. The machine robbed my money. Can you at least give me 250 gil? Please. Please. Jerk. I would say a very nasty word, but that's not in game. There's another thing you can do, and that involves stealing stuff from people's lockers. Yay! Locked. Locked. Phoenix down. Locked. Locked. So yeah, there's one per uh, set of lockers. Ether. Let's see, is there anything useful here? What is this? A megaphone? Hang on to this won't do any good. Remember where that's located, please. It may not seem like it's going to do any good, but it's an ultimate weapon for a character. Oh my god, spoilers again. <laughs> Let's see, there's no one in the bathrooms, nor is there anything to do. You can, run on you can run on treadmills if you want. I just don't do it, for a good reason. So let's go back to the 63rd floor. Believe it or not, this is a bit of a puzzle. Go down here and talk to this computer. Hi, computer. Beep, beep. Verifying key card. Level B employee. Verified. You are permitted to open doors on this floor up to three times. Flip. If you receive an item coupon, remember to exchange it for an item. Warning. Refrain from entering the air conditioning ducts. Recklessly. They are very dangerous. Really? If that doesn't hint at anything, I don't know what will. But yeah, you can only open three doors. Three doors down? Ever heard of that band? <laughs> so yeah, what you're supposed to do is open this door. Yes. Open this door. You have immediate access to item coupon A. And even though it said not to climb in, an air duct. Climb in and look around. We were kind of breaking the rules here, but hey, it's, you know, it's the only way to get over here. I bet the computer's going to glitch up just to, f to figure out how the heck we open that door when we, when we open the door over there. I mean, if I were the computer, I'd be pretty darn confused. Go up here. And out. And, oh, look what we landed on. Item coupon B. Go through here. And, oh god, we have to open another door. Guess what? We have one left! Haha, <laughs> yes. And this is item coupon C. So the very quick way to return to, uh, the computer is to go through here. And you could probably just grab both item coupons and then just be done with it, but that's the legit way. Because, yeah, you can climb in the ducks and do it. Anyway. Enter command. Okay. Now, here's the dilemma. You can exchange your coupons for items. Here are the items you can have. A coupon, star pendant. B coupon, four slots. C coupon, all materia. Here's the dilemma. The A, B, C coupons are uh, the only one of their kind items. So if you're looking for like a really cool 100% file, 100% items, then you're kind of stuck. Uh, one side, 100% is getting all treasure, and the other side is getting all rare items and keeping them. Because later in the game, you can get star pendants, four slots, and all materia. Um, so yeah, you're kind of stuck in a dilemma. But for me, what I do is I don't give a crap. I prefer to get 100% treasure, not 100%, you know, all rare items and whatnot. Please use caution. Once you have exchange coupons for items, you may not use all clear function. Ex 
exchange coupon? Yeah. Coupon exchange complete. We got a star pendant, a four slot, and an all materia. Yay, more all materia. Guess what I forgot to do? Equip the carbon bangle. This is a really good piece of equipment. But if you want more materia on your on you, you then use the four slots. I'm going to save this for Eris though. Sad to say. The accessory is a star pendant. Equip that to anybody you like. I just do it to Cloud because he's more important than anybody else. And now, we can give him something. Adds element to equip weapon or armor or all effect on paired materia. Huh. We could give him a lightning effect to his sword or give him a lightning negate. But, that's stupid. I was about... Okay, hang on. This is a little trick. You can do this. Exchange. Hey, you can even do it to Eris. How cool is that? Well, what I do is I go into exchange just to switch around uh, materia. So, like, I want the restore on the bottom. Now watch what I can do. It's down here, so now all I gotta do is just put all. Normally, you'd have to press triangle, triangle, and then switch them that way. But thanks to the exchange, it's pretty darn simple. So, yeah, that's one feature. Uh... I wanted to use the elemental. You know what? Screw it. Cloud doesn't need an all. You can do this. It's not going to do anything, though. A steel all? That doesn't do anything. But, now if we check in status... Oh my god, his attack is a lightning added effect. That's neat, isn't it? So now his attacks deal lightning damage. Oh man, we just wasted a lot of time explaining and doing that puzzle. So let's continue up the floors. Let's go to the 65th. Oh look, a treasure chip. It's locked. Are you kidding me? Oi. Well, let's go in here. Because this looks like a model of something. Hey look, it's a model of Midgar. Grr, this was Sector 7. Darn you. Anyway, uh, proceed and look around on all the chests. One of them is unlocked. Uh, mind you, you can run to in random encounters on this floor. Okay, here it is. Midgar parts. Yay! Now what you're supposed to do is to go uh, counterclockwise, I think. Uh, parts of the model are missing, please. The Midgar parts. Duh! Sounds like something opened up. Hey! Are you telling me this is a wireless locking mechanism? Again, check all chests. Um, if you do like that, it's that chest. I don't think it's randomized. Don't post a response video, because I don't want to see the whole thing. I've done it too many times. Model Midgar. Place the Midgar parts. Sounds like something opened up. Yay, more treasure. Well, it's not really treasure, it's all key items. Go over here. Place the Midgar parts. As you can see, there are only two more parts we have to place. Yay. See, look. I'm even going in order. And... Da, 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 da. Place the Midgar parts. Duh. <laughs> what else would we be doing? Anyway, go around. Because this is more fun, and we get in a random encounter. Oh, thankfully I don't have to skip this. But these are pretty darn annoying. These are called sword dances. They look nothing like a sword, though. Um, sometimes they have the chance to... Uh, uh, get a character in Fury. And when that happens, is that limit breaks charge faster, but their attacks have... Oh, here it goes. I oh, missed anyway. That slap attack is the attack that will sometimes give them Fury. And what it does is that it increases attack and how much limit you get per 
Pepper getting attacked, but your accuracy goes down. And then there's an opposite, which is Sadness. What that does is it increases defense, but it uh, slows down the limit gauge thing. And that's pretty much it, actually. I don't think it does anything else other than raise defense, lower limit break, increase. I'm not sure. If you want to, you can confirm that for me. Or bust it. Or plausible it. <laughs> Whatever you want, you Mythbusters. <coughs> Myth, uh, Mythbusters, please do not do this. Model Midgar. It's the last part. And there's only one chest. Guess where it is. It's the first one we tried to open. No, not the first one we tried to open just to get the parts. This one. And it's a key card 66. It means we can go to the 66th floor. Oi. Alright, that's over with. I'm not stating how long it took or anything. Oh, hey, look. It looks like a meeting's going on. Hmm. It's a problem, though, because we can't just barge in on the meeting. Otherwise, we'll get thrown in jail. Hmm. It gives me the feeling that I am alive. The feeling of moving this world just with my hands. Come on, we're building the future of Mako. Yeah, you're building the future of killing the planet. They're having another executive meeting. I wonder if it's about the plate incident. Hey, when you're in the bathroom, do you ever hear whispers coming from somewhere? There's your first hint. Your second hint is... Is it just me, or does the con conference room smell? There's some sort of stench coming from somewhere. There's your second hint. So, in the bathroom, you hear whispers, and in the confer conference room, which is over there, that big room, you smell something. If that doesn't give it away, I don't know what will. What you're supposed to do is go in the bathroom. Look, we're looking from the vent. Flush. <laughs> climb up. We'll get out of here. Let's climb up. Hey, what's this? I hear whispers. That's odd. Alright. We're in the ventilation shaft. Let's do this Metal Gear style. Jeez! That's a lot of suits! I don't know if I can fit this in, so I guess I'm gonna cut it out for now. So, uh, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next part, everyone. Alright? Okay, see you then.